What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nicola Espresso and welcome to today's video. Now, today we're going to be talking about Advanced Warfare here for a little bit. Today's video will serve as some speculation into the multiplayer world. Now, nothing too major, so don't get your hopes up, but we're going to be talking about the Create a Class system in Advanced Warfare. Now, for those that don't know, we got a glimpse at a potential Create a Class menu a few weeks ago when Game Informer published one of the many interviews with Sledgehammer about the upcoming title. Now, I'll put the image up on screen, but as you can see, it's not much, nothing major, and nothing really to get our hopes up over. If anything, that's probably still the beta build, if not the alpha build of the create a class system. So the very little that we can see from here is now made even littler. So why are we even talking about the create a class system if that's the case? Well, this got me thinking. Both Ghosts and Black Ops 2 renovated the create a class system that we knew for so long about the game. Dabbling back into history a bit, Black Ops 2 introduced the U-Pick 10 system where you had a total of 10 available slots to add to your class, but they could be absolutely anything you wanted. So add in your wild cards or perks and make as crazy and suitable a class as you wanted. It was a great system and one that I really liked, but then came Ghost who came up with the point allocation system, which to be honest, I loved even more than the pick 10 system. Ghost allowed for eight points for perks, but could allow more slots for perks by not equipping a lethal, tactical, or secondary. That allowed so much more in terms of your weapon since attachments didn't cost you any points, and with the availability and versatility all at your hands, it was a really cool system in my opinion, and it made for more dynamic playstyles and open doors for new players to create playstyles of their own. So with all that being said, I can see it going one of two ways here, one being a brand new create a class system, something revolutionary, again, perhaps the start of a trend where each developer has their designated class systems that they continually will use. Or they could pull the best of both, not too sure exactly how that would look if constructed as such, but both systems had their absolutely awesome plus sides, so combining both wouldn't necessarily be an awful idea. Let me know your thoughts, we're certainly going to find out here in the next couple months. It was just an idea that crossed my mind and I figured, you know what, let's speculate on it since we still can as multiplayer reveals aren't going to be coming to us until a few months away. Mid to late August is when I'm expecting to see anything revolving around the multiplayer world, so there definitely is time. But that's all for today's video, guys. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below. Will it be the you pick 10 system, the point allocation system, something new, or something combining both of those? If you did like the video, please leave a like rating down below. Any shares to your Facebook, Twitter, and or my space if you're OJ, that are greatly appreciated. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe to the best of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare content. Any new news and information, you guys know exactly where to find it right here up on my channel. So thank you guys once again so much for watching. As always, if you guys are having a great day, I shall see you guys tomorrow. Take care and peace. Surprise, motherfucker.